speakers to the stage and we'll have two minutes for any questions and answers. If anyone has any questions, just put their hands up, please. So I've got a question for the writers. So um, what made you want to get involved in a project? How did you hear about it? I heard about this, the project from uh, Jamila Majid, uh, and I thought it was an amazing idea. I thought it was excellent. I thought Sudan's image is misrepresented, and I thought I want to be part of something that uh, makes it look better, makes it look more accurate. And uh, so that's why I got involved. I came to know about this project from my brother, who is also a writer, and he has also won some awards uh, previously. And uh, what encouraged me was uh, the fact that I've lived in Sudan, I've experienced everything there, so I decided let me contribute with what I know. So that was what happened. Thanks. Um, so I came to know about the uh, competition through Facebook because a man, Molly Osman, who's um, named on the book as one of the publishers, editors, um, was spamming my feed. Um, to high heaven with the link and, uh, and initially I wanted to get involved but uh, I had a lot on because I was doing a law conversion at the time and that kind of, when I found the deadline was extended was the reason that I decided to, to go for it because I felt that I didn't have very many creative avenues and I especially love the idea of changing the narrative of Sudan that's projected in the media at the moment and in general, in our general consciousness um, I thought it was just a very, a very worthwhile endeavor and I just wanted to be involved and wanted to try to see what I could put in and then felt very fortunate to be selected for the shortlisting. So that is a lesson to you all, get involved. I heard about this through a few avenues, a few different people uh, told me maybe I should perhaps get involved. I thought it was a gift prize of 10,000 so that really pushed me but a book is good enough. Um, no but in this, what these guys are saying is true. Sudan's image isn't really portrayed in the right way in different in, in, in social every, everywhere you really see it in the news and everything. So it's nice to hear it first hand from people like ourselves and other people in this book. So a big round of applause to them. Um, <laughs> one more question from the audience and then we're gonna go for a break. Two questions. Well first I'd like to congratulate you for your very impressive work. Did take us or took me, you know, back to Sudan, listening to it. Um, the question is, you guys, you said you did this work, so you changed the perception of 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 Sudan here, correct? You know, if I understood right from from the whole point that you guys are doing this work, how do you think you could use these skills to help the young Sudanese there, and how you could help the young Sudanese in the community here? Very good question. Well, awesome. Yeah, um, I'll part on straight. Um, to be honest, I can tell you from my consensus of friends, we've got a lot of Arab friends, myself, and they themselves, you'd think, have a better image than, you say, British or any other people about Sudan, where their image is exactly the same. So for me to be able to just, when I go to Sudan and come back and tell them Sudan has this and that, they can't believe it, they're like, what, Sudan has that? You know, so just little things like that. As far as um, helping people back in Sudan, um, I think that's with through media, through uh, social, through them getting a copy of the books. So many people have asked, oh, I want to read a copy of this book because it is what, how we live. It is, Sudan today is different. So, yeah. um, I think that there's not really... We don't possess anything that, that, other, that our peers either living here or outside of Sudan or within Sudan don't possess. We are not... Uh, more capable, more gifted, more talented. Um, I, I certainly don't feel that about myself. So I think what it's about is um, trying to set up more positive spaces for uh, young people to get involved and feel that not just 
what they think is important, but what they say is important, what they do is important, and for them to see a more immediate effect. I think this book is, is a small but very powerful demonstration of that. When you see something that you put effort into coming to fruition, it really encourages you to do more of the same thing or similar things. And I think creating more of those spaces and more of those avenues where the conversation is more positive rather than negative. I mean, we have political experts who've never studied politics in their lives because we are more engaged in politics than most people, uh, most communities, I feel. But it's always complaining. It's never getting involved. So I feel that um, it's about doing something proactive and changing and positive. So that's my two cents. Okay, so final question. Assalamu uh, alaikum, Ahmed Bedri is my name. My question is, who won the first prize, and how much was it? That's question number one. Uh, a dream for the future. Will your next book or one of your future books be about? Now we have our Sudan back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'll have another question, then we'll answer the two questions together. Yes, my question is to Muhammad Fakhreddin. I wonder, when you go back to Sudan once again, will you answer that question to the best of your knowledge, or you will stay silent? <laughs> To answer the first question, I think the first prize winner was a hundred pound. <laughs> hundred pound and the second prize was fifty, I believe. And then it was thirty for the third prize winner. Lila Burela was the was the person chosen to choose the prize winners. Stella. The first prize winner was Stella. Um, and sorry, uh, your question had a second part to it. Once then, in the future, what, is that what the next book will be about? Will you hope one of the books will be about that? I'm not sure that Sudan is is quite ready to to embrace uh, a, a new a new future just yet. It's still working on putting itself together, and I think uh, I think things like this book, uh, things like the, the mentoring program that we heard earlier about, kind of all feed into the spirit of of helping people uh, here connect with, with helping Sudanese here connect with. Sudan uh, and launching a book there. We had a launch yesterday, went very well, and um, th this is the kind of things that we're, we're trying to trying to do to uh, embrace that, that future. Um, about the answer, I think uh, if I know, I will puff my chest out and call it out with pride, um, but if not, I will politely ask them who they are. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but you, you can have an opportunity to speak to the writers um, on the break and throughout the show. Without further ado, one more applause for the writers, please.